What is Passive Purple? Well, Passive Purple is an intelligent, airtight, liquid vapour control that replaces traditional tapes and membranes. We have two forms, one being a brush applied version that has fibres in it to span any large gaps from 1mm to 20mm in thickness. Now this would go on any service penetrations, junctions you may have on timber frame or anywhere on the building envelope where you think there could be air loss, which is energy loss within the build. Then we have our liquid applied version, which is either spray or roll applied. Now this replaces your traditional membranes. So this would go on the inside of any building, making it airtight and vapor control. What problems do Passive Purple solve? Well, we solve a range of problems from any type of construction, from masonry build, timber frame, RC frame, and even MMC, which is modern methods of construction. With masonry, we can replace parge coating. So parge coating is what we used to do back in the old days, but it's a one-time thing. So we can take parge coating out and put Passive Purple in, and the benefit we have with Passive Purple is as the building moves, Passive Purple will move with the building and it will retain its air tightness, not just in the first 30 days, but in year one, year two, year three, and even 10, 15 years time. So then we look at the timber frame. So the problem it solves with the timber frame is we can install the air tightness layer within the factory, meaning that we've already got our airtight line and we only have to connect all the junctions as we're putting our timber frame together. And that's the same with MMC. We can do the inside and even the outside of the panels, meaning they're watertight and airtight before they even get to site. Now this will also reduce waste because we don't need to protect these when they go outside of the factory because they're already protected by our products. Then if we have a look at the, the high rise buildings, anything over 18 meters, because our products are class B fire rated, our products can go on any internal or external side of the building to make them airtight, but also offer a vapor control. What are the benefits of Passive Purple? Well, Passive Purple is a fast way of achieving your airtightness. Now, the best way for me to put it to you is if you've got a lot of buildings or a lot of Christmas presents and if you've got your tapes and you've got your membranes and you're trying to wrap them up, you do the first one or two and we get bored and the quality stops. With Passive Purple, because we're spraying our product and we're adhering to something, we can visually see that it's purple and it's airtight and that's it. If it's purple, it's airtight. So how are we environmentally friendly? Well, Passive Purple, and all of the products at Intelligent Membranes are VOC free, water-based, no acrylics or solvents in any of our products. Why is Passive Purple on face value more expensive? Well, first of all, it's Passive Purple. It's the world's most intelligent, airtight, liquid vapor control. Now, if you take the both of the products, tapes and membranes and Passive Purple side by side, Products alone, we look more expensive, but when you add the labor and time element into these, then we start to look more favorable and actually we're more cost effective on the larger buildings that we do. So how many meters squared does Passive Purple cover? Well, it depends on what substrate you're going to. So if we're looking at OSB, we could do 11 to 13 square meters, but if we're looking at thirsty block work, we could get about eight to 10 square meters. So it always depends on the substrate that we're adhering to. Can we go onto block work? Yes, we can go onto block work. Do we need a primer? We'd always recommend a primer because no one can say what that block work has been through in the time leading before the block work goes up and passive purple is installed. Can you dot and dab straight onto Passive Purple? The answer is yes, but would always recommend using Super Grip, which is our primer. Now we do this for the same reason why that we'd, we'd put primer on block work, is because we don't know what that site has been through and the dust and any dirt that could be on Passive Purple beforehand before we put the dot and dab on. So we put Super Grip on, we've got the key, we've got the adhesion there, and that's it, we're ready to go. So how long does Passive Purple take to dry? Well, it all depends on the weather. 
If it's hot, we can be dry within minutes, but if we're going into the winter time and we have no air circulation, we can take 24 hours or even 48 hours because we are water-based. So like any water-based products, we need to have our drying time. How do you fix any damages with passive purple? Well, easy. You just grab some more passive purple and it will adhere straight back to itself so you can paint it around any damage or any surface penetrations and we're fixed. More advantages that passive purple have on masonry construction or timber frame. So unlike traditional tapes and membranes where we're covering over a large area, hoping that it's all gonna be airtight, passive purple fixes all the air loss areas in its location. So we're fixing a seamless seal over the whole building and we know all the air tightness is achieved in one go. So what is the difference between passive purple and passive purple external? Well, this is what is the difference between an internal vapor control and an external facade breathable membrane. So if we take a look at the board, if we were looking at an internal membrane under the microscope, it's only one mil thick, but we'll just enlarge it a bit. It would look like this. Loads of tiny molecules all built up. So these are airtight, but these allow moisture to travel through the building either way. So we've got our vapor control, our moisture management through our building. Now these are intelligent membranes. They only operate above 80% humidity and below 20% humidity. And these will open up and close as they need to. So if you think of these membranes as the bouncer on the door of your building, they decide who goes into the nightclub, who goes into the fabric of your building, and who doesn't, at what rate it needs to go to. Because if you imagine if you opened all the doors up, you could get a flood of moisture. So this is what the vapor controls do. They control the moisture within your building. So then if we jump and look at the external membranes, they would look a bit more like this. Now these are because they are breathable membranes. When we talk about breathable membranes, we're talking about moisture, not air that we breathe. So they are vapor open, so they let the moisture travel through the building and out, but they also provide a watertight membrane. So if you're looking at Gore-Tex jacket or anything that's watertight but breathable, this is what your facade membrane will do. So we've got nearly vapor closed, we've got vapor open, and we've got our building here. So if any moisture builds up in this building fabric, it can go out of the building quickly because we're going to our vapor open side. But if we need to, the moisture can travel back out of the building because this bouncer has said, look, there's too much in here, get it out of the building. So this frame, be timber frame, masonry construction, or any form of construction is protected by using facade membranes, breathable membranes, or internal vapor controls.